Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. And he shoved out of bounds at the 26. quickly to the tailback. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. We always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. <laughs> Booming kick. He's taken down at the 31. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Down at the 29. Well, that's a day. Well, a loss of two yards on the That'll, That'll make it third and Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Here we go, Mike 20. Mike 20. Mike 20. Go ahead. He wants it all. And he hauls in the deep pass. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in a one on one coverage. And even when you double team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. And off, and he's met immediately. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 35 yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He's out of bounds, right around the 34. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he got it! Missouri, ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. And the tailback picks up the first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. Game of 
second on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball right here. goes out of bounds the 47 yard line they completed it but for a minimal gain it's not much but at least it's positive yards decent run here right side on the tackle gain of seven yards first down And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Wow, how about that call to the tight end? Big payoff. Well, the offensive coordinator has wanted to incorporate this young player into their passing attack, and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And they can forget about returning this one. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Sacked. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He airs it out. Almost picked off. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. And this one is a beauty. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. Does have the ability to make guys miss. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. Oklahoma is up four. Get to that quicker. Tackle at the 48-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. Just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Caught out in the open. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! 
Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three, seven, red, seven, 43! Go! Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Sooners lead 7-3. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh boy, almost intercepted. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Oklahoma is up by four. out to his wide out and down he goes around the 10 yard line number 28 with the tackle at the 10 yard line that makes it first and 10 up the middle for a nice game the ball carrier that's a game of five on the way mike eight that'll make it second and four Some moves and he's in. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pitch out, got the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up second and three. He's taken down at the 27. Call the loss of five yards on play. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 27-yard line. It's third down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 41. They come out on an empty backfield. And he hauls it in. Now he pitches it. And they push him out around the 37-yard line. That brings up second and one. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Kill, kill, kill! He's hit and taken down. Quick, he catches another. Tackle made at the 17. Five wide. Kill, kill, kill. He tackles him for a loss. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. 
from the 21 yard line. Second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oklahoma holds an eight-point advantage. Scrambling around. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. out of bounds at the 35. Not much on the option keeper, but it's good for a first down. Yeah, it didn't even look like he was thinking to pitch the ball there. Steps out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Dog kill kill! Green and two! And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Red two, four, he lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Oklahoma is up by eight. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Looking for the corner. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Look at a scramble now, and he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. He has one job on passing situation. The quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Offense lines up in a 5-1 set. And it's anticipating pass here. And another sack. Defense. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defenses put on. Him. The Sooners offense today, Herbie, we looked at it all week as being a ground-oriented attack, and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air. This has been fun to watch. You're right. I mean, I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game, and up to this point, it's really been more about the quarterback and the 
Gets it. He's in space. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Oklahoma up by eight. And he's taken down right around the 26 yard line. First down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X seven. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Back five, back five! Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Under heavy pressure. It's almost picked off. Oklahoma can make this a two possession game with this field goal. He gets it up and he flips the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 17 6, Oklahoma. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This defensive end has been a force, Kirk. Yeah, I think we're all beginning to see that this guy seems to play much faster in person than when you watch him on TV or when you study him on tape. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating, and quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical power to be able to slow him down, prevent him from making plays. And he's done all of this in the first half. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He's on the run. Decides to slide. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Coming to you, coming to you. Black five, Green, 15. Quick throw. it left for a decent game. They come out in a five wide set. So we've played two quarters. Oklahoma leads 17-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. Get a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on a defensive side of football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So... You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. He might have a chance. There's a missed tackle. He steps out around the 41-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Easy, easy. Got an opening. And he is drilled at the 41 yard line. That's a game of 15. That makes it first and 10. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Right down. Right around the 30. They'll spread the field with five wide. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Caught and he's hit immediately. And this play is number eight on the drive. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. And this one's broken up. It looks like he might have had some room to get that pass in there. So that's a big knockdown there by the defense. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17-9, Oklahoma. Missouri is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Oklahoma holds an eight-point advantage. Now he shows his running ability. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Gets out to around the 38. He's going left. It's not loose, incomplete. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's gonna be sacked for a loss. Pitch and catch for the first down. And he's level at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Easy, two, three, 20. That brings up second and nine. Easy, Easy. 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 Easy.
On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Oklahoma is up by eight. Now he's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Oklahoma is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 20 to 9, Oklahoma. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a strike complete. He's down. Big opening. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Up the middle for a nice game. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. That'll make it second and four. Mike 20, Mike 20. You're not ready. And a quick throw. He's taken down right around the 48 yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Passes it to the middle of the field. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. He's got an opening. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. You ain't going nowhere. Mike, eight. Red two, green left. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 18-yard line. Brings him down at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here we go. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Sooners in front by 11. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And 
and they make the stop at the 27. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. You can't block me. You can't block me. Block him. Quick pass. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Easy, easy. X, blue, 20. No. Nice run up the middle. Quick throw. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the one yard line. Number 28 with the tackle at the one yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and goal. goal. First down. So inside the five with a first and goal. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. It was an 11 play, 91 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. When the defense plays well, it can rub off on their offensive teammates, and that's partially what's happened. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Yeah, you're done. Hey, get that. Hey, 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 hey. Fumble, loose ball. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. Black ball! He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. So the sack makes this a second and long. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 40, Just Mike under 40. three to go in go. regulation. Go. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. 
That's a loss of score. That makes, makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long. Fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He really got a hold of that one. Oklahoma's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and been put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. Tackled after a decent run up the gun. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Two, three, go. 15. Go. On the ground with the tailback. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. Larry, Larry. My game, my game. Red two, green 15. They'll work the left side. He breaks a second tackle. They go to the left for a nice game. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 46 yard line. Mike eight. Mike eight. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. He fights forward to about the 46. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 27-9, Oklahoma. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Oklahoma came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.